when you're working with your recall, there are many ingredients than just calling your dog back to you, and the relationship plays a huge, huge part of that, as does management. Uh, when you're bringing your dog on, if your dog has been a chaser, uh, you, you, your dog loves to go off at distance, on scent, or uh, something like that. that. There's a great deal of distance management uh, used as well as teaching your dog cues and verbal commands and such like. When you're working with a dog's behaviour, when, when you're working with a dog's social behaviour towards other dogs, so for example, Tally is not the most social dog, I would not call her a reactive dog, but she has a preference mostly to be left alone by other dogs. In other areas though, she can be over eager and over keen to meet other dogs. So when you're out recall training, that's another aspect of your management that you have to consider well. And it's another aspect that, that has to be really managed well. So what you're teaching in terms of recall and, and the competitive factors that are out there as far as other dogs, is it's highly important that you can take the general responses you have at distance. Tally, up. Just keeping our checking in there. It, it's very important that, that we keep the dog not only within that distance, that we get a high response level from the dog. One that is pretty reliable and now that takes work that takes work when you uh, see other dog walkers they may not want to meet your dog their dog may not want to meet your dog they may wish to evade your dog so it's our responsibility to control that distance well and it's our responsibility to train those responses well so when you work on a long line and you venture in, into the 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 level of freedom in some areas you have to choose your ground very well to do that now i'm not a great believer in only choosing safe ground that's 100 percent enclosed there are areas of training where we need to know if it works and it only works by testing it but you can still choose that ground well you can still tally up got to keep our checking in Aragal, um, we need to control that well. Now, that may take months, many months. It may even take a year or two or more, depending on the dog you have and the strength of your relationship. The, the whistle's a neutral sound. The dog learns cues. I always say level one recall is when the dog knows what to do. Level two is when the dog knows what to do and chooses to either ignore, disobey, or not respond to you because of X, Y, Z being out there. And that's where the relationship kicks in. The strength of who you are, the strength of the human and dog relationship is what brings your dog back to you. It's not the whistle, it's not the come command or anything like that. It's who you are. It's the person behind the whistle and the person behind those commands that bring you back. So keep training, choose your ground well, get to know your dog really well, build that relationship and manage things skillfully so that you can move through levels in training and you can improve. If we stay stagnant and go to the same place all of the time, we don't grow. It's as simple as that. We don't grow, we don't grow our training, we don't grow our relationship, and we don't get higher level recalls. So um, grow skillfully, manage it well, and um, that, that's where the results are. This is Max Muir, Action for Dogs.